attention to more important things. Hint, hint. Like you? Exactly! The whole town's talking about it. It's not right for a woman to read. 
soon she starts getting ideas and thinking. Gaston, you are positively crying easily. Why, thank you, Belle. What do you say, you and me, take a walk over to the tavern and take a look at my trophies? What do you say, we don't? Come on, Belle. I think I know how you feel about me. You can't even imagine. <laughs> Gaston, please, I have to get inside to help my father. That crazy old fool needs all the help he can get! Don't talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about her father that way. My father's not crazy. He's a genius. Some genius? What the genius? Now the food. I want you to go out into the woods and bring me back the biggest, healthiest deer you can find. Not the woods. You know I hate the woods. Just get me a deer for my wedding feast. But it's dark and spooky and there's bugs and spiders. Papa, are you all right? I'm fine, but I can't for the life of me figure out just why that happened. If this isn't the stubbornest piece of... Ow! Papa! I'm about ready to give up on this hunk of junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. I'll never get this boneheaded contraption to work. Yes, you will, and you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. <laughs> and become a world-famous inventor? You really think so? You know I do. I always have. Well then, we better get cracking. This thing's not going to fix itself. Now let's see, where did I put that dog-legged clencher? Papa? So Belle, did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Well, they take me away to wonderful places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa, if I asked you something, would you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter, Odd? Now where would you get an idea like that? I don't know, it's just that, well, people talk. They talk about me, too. No, I'm not Odd nor you. No family could be saner. Except one uncle who, well, maybe let that pass. In all you say and do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are class. So I should just accept I'm simply not like them. They are the common herd, and you can take my word. You are unique, creme de la creme. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty-eyed, there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you. And that's a lot, no matter what. No matter what they say, you make me proud. I love the funny way you stand out from the crowd. It's my intention, my invention shows the world out there one day just what we've got, no matter what. Now some may say all fathers just exaggerate that every daughter's great. You are. She pulls out all the stops to praise him and quite rightly. No matter what the pain, we've come this far. I pray that you remain exactly as you are. This really is a case of father knowing best. And daughter, too. You're never strange. Don't ever change. You're all I've got. No.
Now, what do you say if you give this thing a try? All right. You get the logs. Stand back. Here we go. It works. It does? It does. You did it, Papa. You really did it. You'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. I know it. But maybe I will at that. Oh, I almost forgot. I made you a scarf for good luck. Now I know I'll win. And then we can leave this town and travel to all those far off places you've read about in your books. Well, I'm off. Goodbye, Papa. Bye-bye, Belle. Be careful. First prize is nearly mine. It's quite my best invention. So simple yet complex, so massive yet so small. This triumph of design will be my old age pension. That is provided I can find the fair at all. I must have missed a sign. I should have paid attention. Drat. That's not a nightingale and not a mating call. Help! Someone! Help me! Ah, stay back!
How would you like a nice cup of tea, sir? It'll warm you up in no time. Oh, yes, please. No, no tea. He'll be here all night. No tea. There you are. Uh, this is just what I need. Ah! I think I scared him, Mama. Hey there, little fellow. What's your name? Chip. Figures. Care for a blanket, monsieur? I just love older men. I bet you are always trying to make me jealous. But it's not going to work this time. Me? What about you? With Simone? Jacques? Michelle? Pierre? Veronique? Veronique? Julia, <laughs> listen to me. Do you have any idea what the master will do if he finds out we let a stranger in? Calm yourself, Coxwell. The master will never have to know. As I was saying, he is going to find out sooner or later. Should we hide, Mama? No, no. The main home. There's absolutely no reason to panic. Lumiere is right. There's absolutely no reason to panic. May I borrow this? There's a stranger here. Master, allow me to explain. It's a gentleman who's set upon my wolves. Who let him in? The master may take this opportunity to say I was against it from the start. Who dared to disobey you? Oh, dear. You have all betrayed me. Who are you? Maurice. And what are you doing in my castle? Uh, I lost my way in the woods. You are not welcome here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll just be on my way. <laughs> it's hideous, isn't it? Oh, oh no, I, I, I wasn't. So you've come to stare at the beast, haven't you? No, really, please. Uh, I, I'm just looking for a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay? Of this idyllic scene. 
Picture this, a rustic hunting lodge. My latest kill, roasting on the fire. My little wife, massaging my feet, while the little one play on the floor with the dogs. We'll have six or seven. Dogs. No, Belle. Strapping boys, like me. Imagine that. I can see that we will share all that love implies. We shall be the perfect pair, rather like my thighs. You are face to face with destiny. All roads lead to the best things in life are all well that end with me. Escape me, there's no way certain as Doreg fell when you marry. So, Belle, what'll it be? Is it yes or is it oh yes? <laughs> I just don't deserve you. Who does? Me! But thanks for asking. <laughs> about that. Well, gee, if she turned him down, then maybe I still have a chance! Oh, yes. No way! Oh, oh, let's go! Oh, oh. Is he gone? Can you imagine he asked me to marry him, me, the wife of that boorish, brainless? Madame Gaston, can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little no, sir, not me. I can't take it. I want much more than this provincial life. <laughs> Can you blame for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. What about me? You always were insufferable, but every day you become just a little more inflexible, a little more tightly wound, a little more ticked off. <laughs> Please, spare me the stupid puns. At least we're not as far gone as some of the others. You know what happened to Michelle. She always was too vain about her looks, and that's exactly what she's become. A vanity. Little drawers, mirrors, the works. Oh, and poor Jean-Claude. Who? Jean-Claude. <coughs> not him, not too bright, dumb as... A brick! The whole wall. Jean-Claude's a brick wall? That's him in the kitchen there, behind the stove. And you know Guillaume's a houseboy? That mealy-mouthed little bootlicker, I've never liked him. He's always groveling at the master's feet. He's a doormat. Perfect. <laughs> it's happening faster with some of the others, but we are not far behind. Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will gradually become sins. 
But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we threw that poor old beggar woman out on her ear. No, but are we not responsible too for helping to make him the way that he is? I suppose so. All I know is I will eventually melt away to nothing. I only hope there's enough of me left if Semester ever breaks the spell. Hold on, old man. We've got to hold on. Hello? <laughs> is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl. Yes, of course I can see it's a girl. It's, it's a, a girl. girl. Mademoiselle. Here, let me do all the you. talking. No, it's head of this house. Shall we? Why did you do the talking? A word, just a word. That's all I'm asking for. You're not going to believe what I just saw. Not in a million thousand years. Not in a trillion million thousand years. All right, dear. No, really. This is the greatest thing. It's the thing that everybody's been waiting for. Since, 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 I don't know when. All right, Jim. What is it? There's a girl in the castle. Bless my soul. Wouldn't that be lovely? But there is. I saw her. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up wild stories. Getting everyone's hopes up for no good reason. Mrs. Potts, did you hear? There's a girl in the castle. See? I told you. And she's real pretty, too. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, we have been waiting for. She's come to break the spell. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let's not be hasty. Isn't it wonderful? After all these years, oh happy, happy day. Stop it, stop that. We should tell the others, no? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm looking for my father. Well, is that you? Papa. How did you find me? Your hands are like ice. We have to get you out of here. Belle, you must leave this place. Who's done this to you? There's no time to explain. You must go. Now! I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I'm the master of the castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Throw her out! No, wait, forgive me, please. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed. But he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited, and now he'll suffer the consequences. Please, I'll do anything. No, there's nothing you can do. Wait, please. I said there is nothing you can do. Take me instead. No. What? Take me instead. Belle, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here. Forever. No! Forever. Forever, or he dies in the dungeon. That's not fair! Wait. Come into the light. Make your choice. Belle, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. No! Please! Please! Let me do. Take him to the cross. Wait, no, not yet! Let her go! Let her go! Bow! Bow! Master, please! Master, since the girl is going to be with us for quite some time, you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. I didn't get to say goodbye. What did you say? I'll never see him again, and you didn't even let me say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? But I thought... Do you want to stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me. This is your home now. You are free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden. You are never to set foot there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. I hope that you will be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend. And 
one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request!
love us so much. Cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through. I hope that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, the bell is you.
Help! Help! Someone help me! Maurice? Please! Oh, He's yeah. got to help me! He's got her! He's got her locked in a dungeon! Oh. Belle! He must go at once! Not a minute to lose! Whoa! Slow down, Maurice! Who's got Belle locked in a dungeon? A beast! A horrible, monstrous beast! <laughs> Is it a big beast? Huge! With spooky yellow eyes! Yes, yes! Long, ugly snout! Hideously ugly! Sharp, cool face! Yes, yes! But will you help me? Will you help me? Alright, old man. We'll help you out. Uh, thank you! Ah. Thank you! Wait! Ah. Alright then, I'll go back there and get her myself. Crazy old Maurice. He's always good for that. Yeah. Crazy old Maurice, huh? Look who I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime? I know, but that wacky old cooch is Belle's father, and his sanity's only so-so. See, the wheels in my head have been turning since I looked at that loony old man. I promised myself I'd be married to Belle And right now I'm holding a plan If I Yes Then we No, would she? Yes Now I get it Let's, Let's go. go No one Lots like Gaston Takes two shots like Gaston Plants a person a few harmless Yes, I'm endlessly, wildly resourceful. As down from the depths you descend. I won't even be mildly remorseful. Just as long as you get what you want in the end. Who has brains like Gaston? Entertained like Gaston. Who can make up these endless refrains like Gaston? So his marriage we soon will be celebrating. My word of God. Well, what is it? Is dinner ready, Mrs. Potts? Just about. I haven't the foggiest idea what she likes to eat, so I cooked up everything in the kitchen. Good, good. <gasps> yes, well, don't just stand there gaping. Get back to work. You tell him. I can't! Tell me what? No, don't get upset. But it would appear that you have a little, uh, something on your back. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, what is it? It appears to be a winding handle of sorts. Well, get it off me! It won't come off. <laughs> what do you mean, it won't come off? It wasn't there last night when I went to bed. Where did it come from? Why is this happening to me? It's the spell, I'm afraid. Just try to relax. Oh, relax? Relax? How can I relax with this appendage on my back? Is there no dignity left for me? And what's going to go next in my mind? Calm yourself, Coxworth. It'll be all right. I'm frightened, Lumiere. I know, my friend, but you are not alone. We're all in this together. It's time for dinner. Where is she? Perhaps I should see about her. Won't be a minute. I told her to come down. What's taking so long? Try to be patient, sir. The girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Master, have you thought that perhaps this could be the one? The girl who breaks the spell? Of course I have. I'm not a fool. Good, good. So, you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, we'll be human again by midnight. Yeah, it's not that easy. These things take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful and I'm, well, look at me. He has a point. <laughs> Master, you must help her to see past all of that. I don't know how. Well, you could start by trying to make yourself more presentable. Straight up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your happy air wits. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above, above all, what? You, you must, must control, control your temper. temper. Well? What? Where is she? Who? Oh, yes, the girl. 
Well, um, actually, she's in the process of circumstances being what they are. She's not coming. She, she's not coming. What did you say? She, she's not coming. We'll see about that. Your Lordship, your Grace, your Eminence, let's go be Stay where you are when we are stand aside. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I'm the master of the castle, and I'm telling you to come to dinner. And I'm telling you that I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can? Besides, it's rude. Oh, rude, is it? Then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I will drag you by the- Master! <laughs> It may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. <laughs> Attempt to be a gentleman. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner. So you admit you're being a bully. Deep breaths, master. Deep breaths. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Ah, uh, ah, uh, pu, pu. <sighs> Please? No, thank you. Fine, and starve! Master, please! If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all! What were we thinking? We will never be human again. So it appears. Well, what would the two of you have us do? Give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my little boy's laughter as he runs through these halls again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumiere, stand watch at the door, and if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. We won't come down. I ask nicely, but she refuses. What does she want me to do, beg? Show me the girl. <laughs> I know the master can be temperamental, but underneath all that matted fur, he's really not such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no. But once you get to know him... I don't him, want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. He'll never see me as anything but a monster. How long must this go on? This cruel trick of fate. Wrong decision, and that which was gone, and left me in this state, an object of revulsion and derision. Hated, is there no one who can show me how to win the world's forgiveness? No! What did they say? Shower her with compliments, impress her with your wit. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentle man. Lumiere, oh Lumiere! Ah, oh, Damet, come to me, my little flood. <laughs> but you! Oh no, it is my heart, isn't it? You do not love me anymore. Oh, this horrible, horrible spell. A chew! Ah, Shelley. You cut me to the wick. <laughs> Do you really think a little thing like that would change how I feel about you? Now you really tickle my fancy. Oh no! Oh yes! Oh no! Oh yes! Oh no, no, no! I've been birthed by you before! <laughs> Actually, madam, I am a little hungry. I'll drink from Mrs. Potts and sing you an aria while we wait. Uh, that's all right. I'll just. Go myself. But wait, you heard what the master said. He's really not going to like this. I know. Oh dear. Oh dear. I like this gal. I like her spunk. 
Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. And after all, he did say please. I think that may be the very first time I've ever heard him use that word. I believe you're right. You see, she's already starting to have a good influence on him. Oh, there you are, dearie. Glad to see you at the night. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. Cogsworth, the girl, she's gone. I swear my eyes never left the... Also, pay that. <laughs> this is Lumiere. Stop it. Stop that. If there's anything we can do to make you stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all. I am a little hungry. Except that. Cogsworth! Well, you heard what the master said. Pish posh. I'm not about to let the poor child go starving. Fine. Glass of water, crust of bread, and then... Cogsworth, I'm surprised at you. She's not our prisoner, she's our guest. And we must make her feel welcome. All right, dinner, but... Keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our next. Of course. Of course. But what's dinner without a little music? Music? Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. <laughs> be our guest. Be our guest with our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Shelly, and we provide the rest. Soup du jour, hot hors d'oeuvres, why? We only live to serve. Try the gray stuff. It's delicious! Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all, this is France. And the dinner here is never second best. Go on and fold your menu, take a glance, and then you'll be our guest. We are guest. Be our guest. Be fragoon, cheese souffle, pie and pudding of flambe. We'll prepare and serve with flair of culinary cabaret. You're alone in your scared but the banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy, you're complaining, while the flatware's entertaining. We tell jokes, I do clicks, with my fellow candlesticks. And it's all in perfect taste, I can get back. Come on and lift your glass, you've won your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's fine dining, we suggest. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Life is so unknown. 
nothing for a servant who is not serving him. He's not whole without a soul to wait upon. Ah, those good old days when we were useful. Suddenly those good old days are gone. Ten years we've been lasting, needing so much more than dusting. Needing exercise to show us to use our skill. Most days we just lay around the castle. Flabby, fat, and lazy, you walked in it. Oops, a daisy. Come to me, my little spark. Complete with cherub, frolicking in delight amidst the nymphs and centaurs. 
act like a gentle man. Act like a gentleman. This will be good. Belle. Oh, Belle. Now, if you'll note the unusual inverted archways, you will see that this is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it! <laughs> attention to the fine buttresses above the aviary. Oh, Lumiere, it's all so beautiful. If only he weren't here. Act like a gentleman. I am nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. And that was the last time a stone of that weight was quarried in the area. What's up there? Nothing. nothing. Nothing at all of any interest in the West Wing. Ah, so that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding up there. Hiding? What an idea, hiding. Then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Perhaps, Mademoiselle, you'd like to see something else. We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius the Pretentious. Maybe later. Perhaps you'd like to see his garden? Or, or the library? You have a library. With books. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mountains of books. Forests of Scads of books, cloudbursts, swamps of books. Books with pictures, books with words. More words than you can ever be able to read in a lifetime. Books on every subject, by every author who ever sent pen to papier. What are you doing here? I, I told you never to come here. I know, but... Do you realize what you could have done? No! Get out! You had no right to be there. No right! Don't touch me! Oh, no, I... The promise or no promise, I won't stay here. No, Belle. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I didn't mean to hurt you. You just don't understand. There's so little left of me. So little left. And in my twisted face, there's not the slightest trace. Of anything that even hints at kindness And from my tortured shape No comfort, no escape I see, but deep within is utter blindness Hopeless as my dream Time flies, love a lost illusion, helpless, unforgiven, cold and driven to this sad conclusion. No beauty could move. Goodness improve me. No power on earth if I can't love her. No passion could reach me. No lesson could teach me how I could have loved her make her love me too if I can't love her then who 
long ago I should have seen All the things I could have been Careless and unthinking I moved on
me see. Oh, don't do that. Just hold still. Ow! <laughs> that hurt. If you just hold still, it wouldn't hurt as much. Well, if you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't have frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. You should learn to control your temper. <laughs> now, hold still. This may sting a little. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, Max won't like it. I knew that they could get along if they tried. So his ice is broken at last. And not a moment too soon either. Have you taken a good look at the rose lately? It's losing petals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly, it's time to give some little push. Unless my nice romantic way to nurse the I have just the thing. How about we warm the two of you up with a nice bowl of soup? Soup? Trust me. Close your eyes. It's a surprise. Get to go. Can I open her? All right. Now. Don't believe it. I've never seen so many books in my whole life. You like it? It's wonderful. Then it's yours. Perfect book to read out loud. Come here, 
Isso é pra mim. Would have guessed they'd come together on their own. It's so peculiar when it seems a few days more. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Perhaps there's something there that wasn't there before. What? There may be something there that wasn't there before. What's there, Mama? Yeah. I'll tell you when you're older. Come along, son. Let's give them some privacy. Mama? Yes, Jake. Will I ever get to be a boy again? I hope so. When will I know? Soon. If it's to be, it'll be very soon. Come along, son. Knowing not that this was indeed the legendary sword called Excalibur, Arthur tried to put in stone. He tried once to no avail. He tried a second time, but still he could not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword. So that must mean he's the king. Wait and see. I never knew books could do that. Take me away from this place and make me forget for a little while. Forget? Who I... what I am. We have something in common, you know. What's that? In the town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So I know how it feels to be different and how lonely that can be. For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose from the people a great shout. Arthur is king. Told you so. <laughs> Is that still in there? Yes, and so far he's been a perfect gentleman. You know what, Mama? I have a funny feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel kind of bubbly. It's called hope, son. I can feel in it too. Ah, we, oui, my little friend. Today we have waited for may finally be a time. Oh, if only that were truly me. Ah, uh, human again. Human again? Yes. Think what that means. I'll be cooking again, be good looking again. With Sir Mademoiselle on each arm. When I'm human again, only human again. Poised and polished and gleaming with charm. I'll be parting again, she can sporting again. We shall cause several husbands along. I'll hop down off this shelf. And to sweet be myself. I can't wait to be human again. When we're human again, only human again. When we're knickknacks and whatnots no more. Brass 
puts Maurice away and she'll be here in moments in a dreadful state she'll capitulate to me oh I'll be strapping up an inmate very tightly very soon but please don't bring him in late or check in time soon so wave a back and learn goodbye don't be my friend then have her daddy ossify in my sword in It's a night to confess your love. I really don't think I can do this. You must. You care for the girl, don't you? More than anything. Then why not tell her? I can't. You must. There will be beautiful music, romantic candlelight provided by myself. And then, when the moment is right, how will I know when the moment is right? You'll feel slightly nauseous. No, no. You will know because you will feel it here, and you must speak from the heart. I must speak from. I can't. You, you must. must. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Master. I'm afraid she might... She might what? Laugh at me. Somehow, my prince, you're going to have to find the courage to take that chance. Master, look at the rose. There's so little time left. I really don't think I can do this. Here's a little something to help bolster your confidence. Ah. You can do it. I know you can.
the carpets now with you, Chip. It's past your bedtime. Good night, love. Thank you for asking me to dinner. Dinner was wonderful. Belle, I... Yes. Belle, are you happy here? Oh yes, everyone is so kind. Mrs. Potts Lanier. With me? Yes. I must speak from the heart. <laughs> Is everything all right? I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much, and I wish there was a way I could see him again. There is a way. This mirror will show you anything, anything you wish to see. I'd like to see my father, please. Papa? Oh no, Papa! Something's wrong. He's in the woods. I think he's lost. I should... I should... Go to him. What? You should go to him. But what about... You're not my prisoner anymore. You haven't been for quite some time. But take it. So you'll always have a way to look back. And to remember me. I could never forget you. Well, I... Yes. Go. Go. I'll never see her again. her go. How could you do that? I had to. But why? After all this time, he's finally learned to love. Such it so. Such it breaks the spell. It's not enough. She has to love him in her time. And now it's too late.
Sir, I have come to collect your father. What? Don't worry, we'll take great care of him. My father's not crazy. Oh, he was raving like a lunatic! We all heard it, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, come on quietly now. You can't do this. Tell us again, old man. Just how big was this beast? Well, it was enormous. It was at least eight, no, more like ten feet tall. Well, you can't get much crazy than that, can you? <laughs> all right, Maurice, now tell me. When did you first start having these delusions? It's not a delusion. The beast was real. And so is the talking clock. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Belle. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know he's not crazy. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding. If? If what? If you'll marry me. What? One little word, Belle, that's all it takes. Never! <gasps> <clears throat> Have it your way. Take the old man. Let go of me, Belle. Wait! I can prove my father's not crazy. Show me the beast. That's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh, no! He never hurt anybody. No, he looks frightful, but he's really kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I didn't know better, I'd say you have feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are. She's as crazy as the old man! Yeah! She says this creature is her friend. Well, I've hunted wild beasts, and I've seen what they can do. The beast will make off with your children. He'll come after them in the night. No, you would never do that. Forget the old man. I say we kill the beast. Kill him! We're not safe until he's dead. He'll come stalking us at night. He said he'd sacrifice our children to his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him live and free. So it's time to take some action, boys. It's time. It's a beast, he's got fangs, razor sharp ones. Ah! Massive paws, killer claws for the beast. Hear him roar, see him foam, but we're not coming home till he's dead. Good and dead. Kill the beast! Kill him! Yeah! Yeah! Let you do this. Try and stop us. Papa, this is all my fault. I have to go back and warn him. I'm coming with you. No. I lost you once, I'm not going to lose you again. We'll rid the village of this beast. Who's with me? the sticking place. We're not leaving on gas on to lead the way. Who will kiss? Who will run? Who will kill? 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 Who Take whatever booty you can find. But remember, the beast is mine! Yeah! yeah. Hard to play, it's in the sky. We go marching into battle. I'm afraid all of the things must be free. Raise a flag, sing a song. Do the cause for this be strong. If you see friends, they can't be wrong. Who killed the beast? Who killed the beast?
doesn't matter now. Just let them come. Come on, dear.
Yes. No. No, please. Don't leave me, please. I love you. Oh, Cogsworth! 